core of the mission and value proposition is enabling growth and progress. Not just growth and progress financially, but social growth and progress as well. And the construct that we've put around all of the affinity groups is going to allow us to enable growth and progress in our communities, in society, and across diverse populations all over the world. Our vision for the Blank Affinity Group is that we create a more equitable culture, a culture where we really can ensure that everyone fulfills their potential. We have to increase the pipeline of new talent coming into the organization, and I think that needs to be a targeted effort and the opportunity to really focus on how we nurture and develop that talent pool and advance it through the organization here at City is a big opportunity for us. The test that Mark and I are really focused on is that we're gonna change the profile of our team. The LGBT community at City, which is represented very much by City Pride, if we think of it that way, really is an, an organization, a set of, of networks that have grown over the years. And their experiences are quite different. We're in markets today and countries today that have become very progressive on this front. And at the same time, in other places, we see great challenges. We really want to try to create a more inclusive and more equitable culture for all the members of the LGBT community. Tolerance and inclusion is really our mission and a shared mission of the other affinity groups too. We know that companies with diverse and gender balanced leadership teams outperform those that do not. So we're really committed to making change happen here. The whole company should see that difference, it should be higher awareness, but it should become a visible and palpable improvement in the diversity of the city team. The power of our mission and value proposition is that there are elements of it that represent where we are today and the progress that we've made over the past 200 years. And there are elements of it that reflect our aspirations for where we want to be as a company. If we access all of that and we can channel that into a more effective and higher performing company because we get greater diversity of talent and ideas and people bring their full selves to work and all of these affinity groups, that what we do is that we access talent that we really haven't been fully accessing in the past. In addition to the commercial reasons for supporting diversity, there's also a societal reason for supporting it too. And I want our own employees to know that we're doing it for both not just because it helps our shareholders make more money. We're doing it because it's right. 